All right, good afternoon, omnivores. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable sharing on our local host Nucleus server so that we can uh, collaborate with all our pals. So, um, so what do we do first? So the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure we have Nucleus installed. So in your launcher tab, just go to Nucleus. If you don't have it installed, just click the plus button and then it'll install Nucleus and that will give you your, uh, your local host server there. Um, once you have that done, then just go ahead and open Create here, and you'll see by default you have your localhost server, which is awesome. All right, so now once that's done, uh, if you open up uh, a browser tab here and just go to localhost colon 3080, you're going to see this screen. And under the Apps tab here, you're going to see this Enable Sharing option. So if you click that option, you're going to get a message saying, uh, yeah, you're going to share your Nucleus server. Um, you can either invite users or you can have users just connect by clicking this little button. Uh, having users just connect, then they'll create their own account. So if you're you know, working on an internal secure network uh, and you just want anybody to be able to, to connect, I think you get one or two users for the, um, for the free version. Then, uh, then you can just allow them to do it. If you don't want to do this, then you can uh, create the user and and then send them the info um, basically invite them and, and whitelist them onto your server so uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and click this one so I'm gonna click share now if you need to configure ports uh, there's a tab for that here and now I'm not really a network expert so I just take the defaults but if uh, you know your way around this then feel free to uh, to configure this the way you like all right bottom line though is that our um, our Nucleus server is now being shared. Also, when you install Nucleus, uh, you should get a Navigator with it. And so you can open that up. Uh, it should just be here in your library, Nucleus Navigator. And when you do, you'll see this. And from here, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna add your server. So I'm gonna add localhost next. And it's going to say, do you want to log in? I say, yes, I'm logging in as admin because I'm lazy. All right, great. So now, um, now your server is available for, uh, for your friends to join. So if we come over here to uh, the connection screen, as you can see, I'm remote desktop into the computer that's hosting my Nucleus. And now I'm going to a connected machine. So this is uh, one of your friends here trying to join. So in the content browser here, if you just click on add new connection and then give it the IP address of the server and then an alias, this optional name doesn't matter, uh, but I'm calling it prod. And we're gonna get this, which is I think a bug. I'm gonna click yes. And then it's gonna prompt me for a login to say, hey, <clears throat> who are you? What do you want? So it's at this point that your users can create their own account and then log in with that uh, info, which I've already done here. So if I click that, you're gonna see all this and then they, they fill all that out. And once that's done, they can log in. So I'm gonna log in as Omnivore and NVIDIA is awesome. Log in. Okay, sweet. Now I'm authenticated to the server and we get this error saying, whoops, uh, the connection timed out. Uh, you're too slow in creating your user or uh, adding your username and password. So I'm just going to click reconnect. And there's my prod server. Sweet. And now if I go to the projects folder here and projects folder here, see localhost projects and then dot projects. On my user machine, I'll create a new USD file, call it new file one. So there it is. And, oh, just had to refresh it. There is um, that new file I created here is here. And if I wanted to create a file here and then slide this little thing over, call it two. And you can see that file now shows up. And now we can collaborate on these projects. You know, these new files can be added as references or layers or however you, you want to work. But so that's the basic overview to getting your collaboration server set up. Now, if you want to dial in uh, permissions and things like that, if, if you only want certain people to access certain folders or certain files, then, um, then what you're going to want to do here is 
click on, let's say I just want people accessing projects, right? Uh, I'm going to click on my permissions here in Navigator. And then from here, uh, because my user is already created, start typing Omni, and I have Omnivore, which is me. And, uh, and once I add that user with this little, oh, Dave. Uh, once I add the user then to that folder, then I just click it. And now I can set, you know, do I read only? Do I want, do I want read and write? And whatever O is, ah, giving him admin permissions. I don't want to give myself admin permissions. That's dangerous. All right, now if you want to see how many users have uh, joined up on your server, just click the users tab here. And uh, you can see we have uh, some admin accounts. We have some accounts that are created to run some services. Um, but you can see my omnivore uh, user created here, and it gives my information there. So that is how to uh, set up a Nucleus server for sharing, and looking forward to seeing all the great content you guys create. Thanks.